Ooh, yang <laughs> I don't know, some extra packaging. I think I know what this one is, because I ordered a few things, so I don't know. Uh, yep, this is it. I got, uh, I got a few extra little pieces there. Let's see what this one is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got the rock, the, the flat silver one. Just silver, I don't know. And then I got these domes, because I thought that was cool. And then, ladies and gentlemen, I have gotten, then, wow, the colors. Then, I got over... 300 of these in different colors. Now, you're probably wondering, what the heck? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, those are not white. Let me tell you a funny story about these. These are not white. They're aquamarine, and they costed $2.50 per one of them. So, um, I was like, what? So, yeah. Ooh, and then I got my chrome pieces, and then there's some more in here more different colors. Each bag has uh, different colors in it. So that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. I have these, obviously. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? All these are going to make my JMP Productions. So I have those so far, and now I'm going to add all these. So the next thing you're about to see, as soon as I put this down, is that will be done. Hey, look at that. That's cool. Alright, so... Ignore the craziness in the background. So... There it is. Let me just show you something. Let me, let me just show you something. Sort of it's blurry. Look at the background. It looks really weird. See? Isn't that weird? Look at... Well, let's, let's see, shall we? What is all that fuzziness in the background? It's like a weird random ghost or something. It's really strange. Look, you can see the fuzziness. I don't know what is causing that. It's the lighting. The lighting is, as soon as the lighting gets messed up. See, look, at as we go to here, there's no fuzzy background. All right, so. There we go. So, this right here I'm trying to show you is aqua blue. As you just saw before I started talking, my, I showed you my new intro. If you like it, thumbs up. That'll be my permanent intro. Now, in the future, I'll probably make this, try to make this look like my actual supernova. But that, uh, there it is. My GMP Productions. Uh, this was made with over 35 different colors of these. As we zoom in on one section, there's so many colors. There's baby blue, pink, light pink, dark pink, orange, dark orange, skin, skin color, brown uh watch see look at yeah i think i think it's just got to be i think there's just got to be a lot of light for it to not do the the fuzziness so that look at that everybody that's pretty crazy see yeah uh, there is see it is a good quality camera it's just the lighting is always bad so a little fun fact about this is how i came up with this image i don't know i just threw it together uh I was like supernova, and I was like, um, cause I'm super or something. Uh, yeah, pretty much. So, how it's GMP Productions. I'm gonna stand back here so we can see if we can get a better. See, look at the farther I go back, notice how there's magically fuzziness there. That's that's the particles in the air, which I can't physically see that, but apparently this can. It's such a good thing, I can freaking see everything. So, JMP Productions happens because, uh, I don't know, when I started YouTube, I was like, what could, what could my photo be? So, I had, like, rainbows and stuff, I'm like, that ain't working. So, I came up with this, out of the blue, I came up with this, worked all day, came up with a cool photo, which is now my YouTube, obviously, my f YouTube pic there. Now... JMP Productions, whoops, first I was like, JP Production, I was gonna do, and I'm like, that doesn't sound right, so I'm like, maybe if I use my middle name, because my middle name is Matthew, so that's how JMP Productions happened, uh, uh, let's listen, shall we, to the craziness, that's what the Having a Sister is, and my arm is completely twisted backwards right now, if, uh, uh, doesn't, doesn't look good, so, yeah.
So watch. See, look. Let's let's demonstrate. If we go to here, there's no random fuzziness. As soon as we go, look at that. Look at that. As soon as we go there, there's random fuzziness. So that's JMB Productions. My new intro. Uh, uh. Oh, let me, let me just show you something here. Look. Let's see. Look how much snow is outside. Can we demonstrate? There. There's about like four feet of snow outside. I don't know where other YouTubers live. They must live in uh, California and stuff, other YouTubers, because it, and when I watch their videos, I'm like, how do you not have snow? How, how do you not have snow? But, I don't know. As you could saw my unboxing, I got those, the domes. I don't know what I'm going to use for them. Oh, there's a, there's a kind of a hint of what my next thing will be. Like, all right, ladies and gentlemen, there's one last thing I want to show you. I bought this awesome set off of BrickLink, and here's the cool part about it. It's been never opened. Wow, that's... Yeah, it's still kind of funny to see. Look at never opened. This set's never been used ever. And this is really cool because it has all of the original uh, stuff still in the same box. And look at, as we see right there, the original Lego seal on it. Still sealed. So I thought this was a really cool set. I, I maybe I paid a little bit paid a little bit more than I should have on this set. I paid, I think, uh, wow, that's a lot better. I paid, uh, about, uh, about almost $200 for this set. Well, since it's in its original, look at original factory seal, uh, the box is in great condition. I have to tell you this. This is set 6,975. It has, uh, this set had the magnets on it, which was really cool, too. It comes with, like, quite a few minifigures and stuff. Uh, see, with older sets, they don't show how many pieces. It, I just love this feature that you can look inside here, and you can see all the original pieces in the original bag. So, so if, if and when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I will open this baby and do the 10,000 subscriber special on this set. So, 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to do that. Last part of the video is, I'm going to show you, okay, yeah, wow, that's too light, okay. So the last part of the video, I'm going to show you all, I'm going to show you all my previous intros. There we go. Um, what's up ladies and gentlemen today? I will be talking to you about My intros now there is a very good reason why none of these are any there's no audio on none of these and that is because of Copywriting issues and the reason why is because if I were to play I think the audios it would be copywriting issues uh, Just a lot of stuff these days that uh, not allowed to use so yeah, I guess uh if Call of Duty ever hears this, uh, all the companies that make Call of Duty games, maybe we can get together and keep spamming Call of Duty, uh, Sledgehammer Games, Treyarch, allowing me to use their content to promote. I promote Call of Duty. I've gotten over probably maybe a few thousand new people introduced to Call of Duty and to buy their games. I don't know why I haven't been... Uh, uh, offered anything yet to just do call of duty games so that would be pretty cool so yeah there's i'm showing you all my intros i think i gotta talk for a long time about seven minutes i gotta talk to you guys for so uh i've had about 30 intros there's like one missing intro with the drawers and stuff uh some of these are long some of these are short uh my new intro if you've seen okay uh, my intro is good. I like my intro because it shows you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and stuff. That's pretty sweet. Now, it just when you guys watch my new intro, which is that where it zooms out from the Lego thing, let me know if it's a good enough quality or if it's too blurry. Because I think because it's I think because I use so many Lego pieces and pixels that the camera cannot 
pick it up unless it's a certain distance. So if you guys think that if you guys think the new intro is a little blurry, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll redo the intro in a better lighting and try to set it up. But I think my new intro is pretty cool, actually. It's a cool Lego thing. Uh, there's actually almost two thousand Lego pieces used for that new intro that I have. Uh, as you can see at the beginning, I got my Lego haul and stuff. Uh, if you're listening to this part, you saw the Lego set I got off of Bricklink. Uh, Bricklink, I saw this one set off of Bricklink yesterday. It was crazy. It was like the 1973 train set. Mint, can it never open three, three grand. I'm like, damn. Uh, yeah. Mm. So... I think, uh, I think, yeah, I think, uh, that, uh, it's, uh, pretty good. I just remembered something. Sometimes when I'm putting videos together, I forget a clip that I did, and I think I forgot a clip. I don't know, I'm probably gonna, probably gonna view and stuff, but, uh, my next video that I'm gonna do, there's another challenge is gonna be, right after this video, there's gonna be a challenge video that I did, uh, I'm still feeling effects after it. I kind of get a weird headache now, and I feel like I'm on a, a sugar high and stuff because of how much uh, a cream and stuff. You'll see what I'm talking about. And cream and then coffee, not the other way, you dirty minds. I know what you're thinking. So, uh, yeah, yeah, just going to talk about stuff. Uh, probably, I'm probably going to see the new SpongeBob movie, definitely. Uh... It'll be, uh, my friend saw that the other day, that should be pretty interesting. Alright, so, new Call of Duty game, World at War number 2. I've had so many people tell me this now, it is like over thousands of people have told me this, or I've heard it from around the internet, that Treyarch is making World at War number 2. Now that would be a beautiful game. Uh, sorry if I'm talking too loud. I'm trying to talk not that loud. If it's all uh, muffled and blurry, then I'm sorry. So, yeah, I think uh, I think they're in the step. If uh, if Treyarch makes a good enough, if Treyarch makes World at War like Black Ops Two, then they are gonna get they're gonna get a hand, they're gonna get a pat on the back from me because I am very disappointed from Ghost that. That, that, you know what, a ghost is like taking a crap and looking at it and being like, that was disappointing. That's what ghost is like. It, it just, it, I don't know what they were thinking. Why could they have not have just done, call it World at War number four, or Modern Warfare 4. That would have been better than that turd and Advanced Warfare. Come on, guys. what What is with this? We have modern warfare why do we need advanced warfare what is there going to be advanced warfare two and three next no 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 i don't think so better not be yeah she's gonna piss me off now the only thing that kept me playing advanced warfare is the variety of guns there's almost over 300 variety of guns in advanced warfare now that's the only thing that kept me yeah, I'm pretty sure that World at War number two, there is going to be zombies. I am most likely certain there's going to be zombies. So, one last, let me just say again. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Just talking, uh, my friend, uh, uh, just my friend messaged me day, day and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm still only, I'm still only Prestige 2 in Advanced Warfare. Here's why. My internet is still in the toilet. Uh, uh, I did phone my internet company, they did manage to double the speed and upload speed of my internet, uh, the messed up part is I don't see a difference still, it seems still almost worse than it, what it was, so, I don't know what exactly they are doing to this, but, uh, but, I don't know exactly what they are trying to do, but, uh, that, uh, that. That's gonna be about it. Uh, I think I only need to talk for about seven minutes. Uh, hope, hope, hope that's enough time for me to discuss you guys with. Uh, so if you like my new intro, a new intro, thumbs up, like, uh, comment, subscribe this video, and just keep on watching, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.